Today we're going to be learning the melody on xylophone for Surviving Summer Break. It's a seven note melody that gets a little confusing, so I want to break it down for all of us to learn. Before we pick up our mallets, I want to play the melody for you. It's seven notes and it sounds like this. For those of you watching closely, you can see I broke a major rule. I play two notes with the same hand in a row. Watch again. I played two rights right here, D to E. See if you can catch it the third time. Right, right, and then I played G with my left hand. This technique of using a double allows my left hand to find G and strike it accurately. If I were to alternate the whole time, I might miss. I got lucky that time. So, when we play this melody, we're going to learn where to double to give ourselves the best opportunity to be accurate. The first two notes of our song are little g and little e. I'd like you to pick up your mallets and play with me. Make sure we pinch with our pointer finger and thumb. We wrap the rest of our fingers around the mallet. We make them match, and then we only move our wrist when we play. We're going to play G, E, two notes. One, two, ready, go. Did that go well? Hopefully it did. Let's try it again. One, two, ready, go. Excellent. We're going to try this two more times. One, two, ready, go. One, two, ready, go. Excellent. Those are our first two notes of the song. After G and E comes D, and we're playing D with our right hand. Our right hand travels from G to D. Pick up your mallets. One, two, one, two, ready, go. One, two, ready, go. One, two, ready, go. Last time, ready, go. Excellent. We're now going to add a fourth note, which is C. It'll sound like this. And we're alternating our sticks. Right, left, right, left. Pick up your mallets. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Excellent. Let's try again. One, two, ready, go. One, two, one, two, ready, go. And let's try it one more time to make sure we have it perfect. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Excellent. Now that we've reached the middle of our melody, we're going to have to start doing some fun stuff here. We're going to start on C with our left hand. This is our left hand. We're going to play C. And D and E, we're going to play with our right hand. So we're playing C with our left hand, D and E with our right hand. It sounds and looks like this. Pick up your mallets and play this with me. It's three notes starting with our left. One, two, ready, go. Did you play two rights? If you didn't, make sure you try this time. One, two, ready, go. One, two, one, two, ready, go. And one more time to make sure it's perfect. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Excellent. Let's try and add everything we've learned together. It will sound and look like this. You'll notice I only played one C. A common mistake is to play two C's. So make sure when you play it's only one C. It should sound and look like this. Did you see I only played one C? That's a good thing. Let's try and play this together, all six notes. 
One, two, one, two, ready, go. One, two, one, two, ready, go. One, two, one, two, ready, go. And one more time to make sure it's perfect. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Excellent. If you're having any trouble, feel free to rewind or even slow down the playback speed in the settings. Take 20 seconds to talk to your neighbor. Is this easy? Is it hard? Is it fun? Have you learned something you want to show your neighbor? Go ahead. We're now going to add our final note, which is low G, or big G, which is going to be played by our left hand. After we play C, D, E, those two rights give us time to move our left hand to big G. That way we can aim and be accurate. We're going to play four notes. C with our left hand, two notes with our right, D and E and big G with our left. It will sound and look like this. I'll play it one more time. Pick up your mallets. Let's play this together. One, two, four notes. Ready, go. Did it go well? Let's try again. One, two, ready, go. One, two, one, two, ready, go. And let's try it a fourth time. One, two, one, two, ready, go. If you need more tries, feel free to rewind or even slow down the playback speed. Now that we know all seven notes, let's go slowly through each note to review. I'll say the note and then we'll strike it one time. It'll look and sound like this. G, E, D, C, D, E, G. Pick up your mallets. Let's do that together. One, two, here we go. G. E, D, C, D, E, G. Let's try that pattern again. One, two, one, two, ready, go. G, E, D, C, D, E, G. One, Two, one, two, ready, go. G, E, D, C, D, E, G. Let's try this one more time. One, two, one, two, ready, go. G, E, D, C, D, E, G. Take 20 seconds to talk to your neighbor. Is this easy? Is it hard? Is it fun? Have you learned something you want to show your neighbor? Go ahead. Now let's add all seven notes together. It'll sound and look like this.
Let's try it together. Pick up your mallets. One, two, one, two, ready, go. 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 Let's practice for 60 seconds on our own. We're now going to attempt to play this two times in a row. In the song, it plays three times, but let's see if we can do two without any mistakes. One, two, two times in a row, let's go. Did you remember to play it twice? Sometimes I forget to play it twice, so let's try again, two times in a row. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Did you remember to play that two times in a row this time? Hopefully, but if not, let's give it a third try. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Excellent. Hopefully we're getting close to everyone remembering to play it twice. Let's do it one more time to try and catch everyone. One, two, one, two, ready, go. In the song, it happens three times in a row. The fourth time, the notes change, but we're not going to worry about that yet. We're going to play what we just learned, the same seven notes, three times in a row. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Again. One more time. How many of you got on the first time? Let's now try to do it again three times in a row and hopefully everyone gets all three. One, two, one, two, ready, go. That was all three, excellent. Let's try a couple more times to play all three in a row with no mistakes. One, two, one, two, ready, go.
Did you do all three? Excellent. Let's try a final time to play all three in a row. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Excellent. You're doing fantastic. If you can play all three, you did wonderful. We're now going to look at what happens the fourth time we play. The first six notes are exactly the same. One, two, three, four, five, six are all the same. You'll notice my left mallet is still directly over C. That's where I left it. One, two, three, four, five, six and our seventh note is going to be C, which is going to end our melody. Instead of reaching for G, I have my left hand already over C, and it doesn't have to go anywhere. One more time. Let's start by just playing the last four notes of the song. C, D, E, and C one more time. You'll notice I'm still doing my two rights in a row to make my left hand have an easy job. Left hand plays C, my right hand plays D and E, and my left hand plays C for the final note. It sounds and looks like this. Pick up your mallets. Let's play those four notes together starting on C. One, Two, one, two, ready, go. One, two, one, two, ready, go. One, two, one, two, ready, go. One, two, last time, ready, go. Excellent. Now that our ending sounds great, let's put all seven notes together. The same six from before and our final C. Four times. One, two, one, two, ready, go. One, two, one, two, ready, go. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Last time. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Let's practice for 60 seconds on our own. Now it's time to piece together our entire melody. We're going to play three versions that end with G, and then one version that ends with C. It'll look and sound like this. And the fourth time will end on a C. Let's play this together and I'll narrate which note we should end on. 
Pick up your mallets. One, two, one, two, ready, go. End on a G. End on G again. End on G one more time. End on C this time. I'm sure that was a lot to take in, so let's try that again. One, two, one, two, ready, go. End on G. End on G again. G a third time. This time we're going to end on C. One, two, one, two, ready, go. We're going to end on G a third time, and this time a C. Hopefully that went better than before. Let's try it a fourth time. One, two, one, two, ready, go. And this time we'll end on C. If you're still making mistakes, that's okay. You can go back and try this section again. But before we do that, let's practice for 60 seconds on our own. Hopefully you're able to grab a few more correct notes during that minute. Let's try it all again, playing the whole melody. One, two, one, two, ready, go. If you played it perfectly, it's time to move on to the video for surviving summer break. If it didn't, check below for the timestamps so you can start the section over. If the whole class is ready to move on, there's a link at the end of this video to move on to surviving summer break. Enjoy.